Hi everyone, I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and welcome to my floss tube about counter cross stitch. Uh, today is July the 8th. This is floss tube number 134. Holy cow. And there is Stryker. He's looking for rabbits. Yes, that's my Scotty dog, which is why I call myself Stitching Scotty. My other one is not on the couch. So I guess he's on the bed. That would be Winston. But anyway, welcome, welcome. If you've never watched my floss tube before, um, I hope you find something that you like and uh, I hope you laugh a little bit. <laughs> I'm camping this week. As you can tell, this is inside my camper. Every time I go to the video up here, it starts raining and I have a tin roof over my camper uh, to keep it, you know, newer and everything and um, it gets rather loud so um, yeah but it's not raining right now but I'm not gonna risk it again because the bugs will be bad outside with the lights but anyway <clears throat> first of all I would like to thank Ronnie and Gary for the wonderful shout out on their quickie 50 video <laughs> um, it was it was very nice even though Ronnie uh, cannot say stitching Scotty <laughs> three times in a row very fast <laughs> but um, I, I met them both at StitchCon last year and I met Gary at Galleria last year and uh, they are just a sweet sweet uh, two guys and they have an excellent excellent online shop um, be sure and go check them out and when you check them out you might want to check out the retreat they've got retreat news uh, for a retreat in 2024. So be sure and get the news first from them. So you got to go watch it to find out more. Okay. And also, um, I would like to shout out the Fanciful Flamingo. I watched her video this week. I watch her videos pretty much. Her name is Alicia. And I met her at StitchCon this, this year. And she is just a sweet, sweet, sincere uh, stitcher. Um, she's a lot of fun. She's got the most bubbly personality and she has some beautiful, beautiful stitching and it's, it's exciting to hear about the fish stories. So you need to go watch her floss tubes also. <laughs> and then, uh, be sure and watch the Sable Stitchers, Lenny and Roberta. And Lenny tells the cutest jokes. I mean, they will just keep you in stitches. And Roberta's gotten to where she tells some pretty good jokes, too. And they have beautiful, beautiful stitching. So be sure and check that out. And Roberta also uh, does a retreat website. It's called uh, Sable, it's the SableStitcher.net. So be sure and check that out. And it shows all the different retreats that, uh, you know, people tell her about or she finds out about. And she posts it there so you will uh, have the latest information. Okay, um, and the next announcement I would like to share is also, uh, I'm shouting out Annabella's, <clears throat> Annabella's Needlework in Waynesville, North Carolina. Uh, I've been in her shop about three times, and I really, really uh, like her shop, but she's moving a mile and a half down the road to this beautiful log cabin. So you'll have to be sure and check that out. Now next Wednesday, or this coming Wednesday, I think is when she announced on her video that she would be, they would be starting the move. It's gonna take several days. So be sure and watch her floss tube and check up with her on Instagram to kind of see what's going on. It's a beautiful, beautiful log cabin. And she shows you a video of the interior of the log cabin on her floss tube. So be sure and check that out. She has some beautiful designs also because she's also, she and her daughter are designers. So be sure and check those out. 
Okay, now let's get on with uh, all the good stuff. I had an FFO this week. Yay! And this thing has been laying around forever because I would read the directions and I would go, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I just cannot. But, you know, you never know what you can do until you try. This is Praiseworthy Stitches, and it's called a Bunny Garden Needle Roll. Okay, everything fits in this cute little carrot. <laughs> so you take the top off the carrot, <clears throat> and it's got the little pin cushion that you can put in the top. And this is just, <clears throat> excuse me, you can either glue it in or leave it like this. Um, it's just a piece of cardboard with some felt, and I did the blanket stitch around the material. And you could put it in the top of this and set it down, and you'd have like a little pin cushion, but I didn't glue mine. It's also got a scissor fob, but I did not put the, uh, the scissor fob hanger on there. I closed it up before I realized I was supposed to do that. That will come later. With, this will be a redo in a bit, but it's got a little bunny stitched on it, and this is on a uh, natural linen 28 count, and it's got some little beads for the flowers, and it's got um, just a back stitch around the edge, and then I just used a piece of fabric I had. Then um, it's got the little needle roll, and it's got the little ribbon, and you unroll it. Is this upside down? Okay, here we go. And see the bunnies and everything. And then uh, you put your needles and your floss and everything in here. So, and then you just roll it up. And see, here's the carrot. And you can tie it, but I won't do that right now. And you put it down in here. You put your uh, uh, scissor fob down in here. And then you put your pin cushion on top. And there you go. Everything's in the carrot. Isn't that nifty? That was a retreat project at Panda's Cross Stitch and Beading. And that's been many years ago. And I just let that lay around because I'm thinking, I cannot miter those corners. I cannot miter those corners. And when I finally gave up and tried mitering them, I did one perfect. And then the rest, eh, they'll do. So, but anyway, um, this is a, a fun pattern. It really is. And I thought it was so, so cute. So that's a finely finished object. Oops. And that really is finely finished. Then I also had a finish. Yay. On the 4th of July, I did a patriotic stitch. And uh, this one is by Heartstring Samplery. And it's called Grand Old Flag. And this is Grand Old Flag Pin Drum. Okay, now I don't have an FFO yet, and I've never made a drum, but hmm, no time like the present, is there? Um, this one's also on, no, it's not also, this one's on Vintage Country Mocha, 28 count, and it's two strands over two, and I, and uh, that is my finish. So, I'm probably going to make this into a drum, although it did fit into my 8-inch hoop, or maybe it was a seven inch hoop, probably an eight inch hoop, very nicely to where I was like, hmm, maybe I ought to do that. So anyway, that's my finish for that one. And I used um, all the call for threads, which were gentle arts, except I did not have Brethren Blue, so I used DMC 930. I did not have Piney Woods, so I used DMC 935. And I did not have pecan pie, so I used a DMC 3020. All right, but everything else is the call for. So, hopefully the next time you see that, it will be a drum. Wouldn't that be exciting? Yay! Okay. And I just want you to know, it's 83 degrees here in the mountains today. It's cooled off a little bit now. And I ironed everything. Mm-hmm. In a hot camper. All right. So, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, next, let's that's all my finishes and FFOs. Next, let's talk about uh, WhipGo. WhipGo is, uh, was started by Jessie Marie Does Stuff, and I got to meet her also at StitchCon. That was a real treat. And this month, I had three things called, but I only brought two of them with me. Um, 
one of them I haven't, well, two of them I hadn't even worked on. The one, of course, that I didn't bring. But this one's called Halloween Critter Trio from Maxing Wit Waxing Moon Designs. And I'm doing the kitty cat. Ooh, glare. There we go. The one that says boo. It's on 28 count natural linen. And I'm using two strands over two. And I'm calling for... No, I'm not calling for five days. I'm calling for a finish on this one, if I'm not mistaken. But isn't that cute? That is one nasty looking cat. So, um, hopefully, um, I'll get started on that because if I don't, yeah, I'll be huffing and puffing like I did at the end of the um, month, this past month. It was not good. Mm, yeah. Okay, and my other whip go piece, which I have worked on, I also worked on it uh, this week, was hands-on design, a year of celebrations, and guess what? I went to go decorate, and I didn't have a July. So I thought, well, I'll do the July, and there it is right there. They also have a Canadian July. So what I did, <clears throat> and I've got it still in the hoop. Um, let's see, how does this go? Okay, this is the way it goes. Okay, I've got one of the little rockets and I've got the little legs. I just need to put the shoes on it. And underneath it's gonna say Liberty and over it it's gonna say July and there's gonna be another rocket and some uh, bunting. And then it'll be done and be ready to put on my magnet frame. And I love this hoop. I've got twill tape around it um, on the inside to keep it tighter and it, it stays very uh, firm. I like it, you know, where it's hard. Okay, <clears throat> so that's hands-on design, and that was a new start. But I have I'm going to work five days on the on the hands-on design piece, and if I finish this one within five days, I'll just go into August because I like July, August, September, October, and November. Yeah, so there you go. <clears throat> um, and that is WIPGO 2023. It's a Facebook group. So if you want to join, be sure and check that out. And Jessie Marie does stuff. She has a video every month where she calls two numbers on the bingo board that we have. And we call it a WIPGO board because work's in progress. All right. The next one I'm doing is I'm doing a, a sale or a stitch along. Uh, it's called PC Welcome to the North Pole. And this is from Primrose Cottage Stitches. So this is last month, June. This is July, okay? Mm. Still on June. And not very far either. Um, where did I put it? This is on Portobello 30 count um, linen. And it's from Access Commodities. I got this at Fat Quarter Shop. And this is all I've got done. I just started the word north. Those and I've got a little bit of snow down here. I don't have all the Christmas lights yet. I meant to do those when I had the color out and I forgot. Because I kept having to rip these things out because I kept messing up. And one of the colors, if you'll notice, one of my reds are not in there. For some reason, I do not have Weeks Dye Works Blue Coat Red. So I'm going to have to get some. And every shop I've been to doesn't have it either. So, <laughs> so it's like, oh my goodness. What are we going to do? So I thought, well, I'll just stitch what I can. And then I'll go back when I get it at my needle workshop. So in this cute, it's two over two. So I've got a lot of stitching I need to do on this. Not starting out June too well, am I? Or July too well, am I? But I've really enjoyed stitching on this, even though I've had to rip a lot out. So... But it's, it's very pretty. And I can't wait to get this up for Christmas. Okay. So if you want to do this one, uh, this is... Um, and what I like about her charts is... <clears throat> and I'm not going to show you the chart, but I am going to show you something. Um, oh, that's got a chart on it too. Okay. Every one of her pages has a color key on it. It is so nice. You do not know how many patterns I'm like, oh, 
I have to go make a copy. Or you go to your copier and there's no, I mean, you go to your printer and there's no ink. So no copy. So you have to go flip, 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 flip all the time. Or you have to write it down on a piece of paper. Very annoying. So um, anyway, that is a feature about this pattern I really, really like. So I'm a little bit behind because I need to do the rest of this, do the rest of the lights, the snow, and this <laughs> by the end of July. Mm, good luck with that. And you know, I'm also doing a summer cross-stitch camp, and you're supposed to do something that grows. Well, I forgot to bring that too. Um, I could use my kitty cat, except for the fact that I did not start it in July, so that doesn't count. It has to be a new start. So, um, yeah, and I forgot even what it is that I picked out. So hopefully next week, sometime this week I'll have a start and next week I can show you my uh, summer cross stitch camp because um, I don't want to miss out on that. It's a lot of fun. Okay. <clears throat> um, hmm, I could use this. I really could. Um, I think... Did I start this in July? Let us look. I did. And I think this would be really good. Okay. All right. Um, okay. The next thing I'm doing is going to be under hashtag StitchCon 2023. And the reason is, is because it was a fundraiser at StitchCon from Finally a Farm Girl. And this is Matilda Drives the Stitchy Bus. Isn't that cute? Now, I'm not doing the one over one. I'm doing the regular small. And I got a nice little start. Now, she looks a little scary right now because she doesn't have any eyeballs, okay? So just pretend it's Amish Matilda. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> it, it's kind of scary, but isn't she cute? And you know, mice grow, so I think that might be good. I might just use Matilda Drives the Stitchy Bus for my um, for my Colorado Cross Summer Cross Stitch Camp since I started this one on Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's one day stitching, and it's two strands over two, and this is a piece of Lugana that I found in in a scrap bag. Can you believe it? Imagine that. This is a big scrap. Okay, so, uh, and I'm using all the Call 4 DMC threads, and uh, Chrissy, finally a farm girl, she has a lot of Matilda mouse patterns, and they are just so, so cute. And I am keeping this one in my bag, my OG stitchery, Tracy. This is what she gave me in the bag exchange, and look at the uh, scissor fob, or not scissor fob, but... Um, Zipper pull. Thank you. And this is the back. And then you open it up and she's lined it. It's so pretty. I really like it, Tracy. Thank you so, so much. I think of you every time I use this. And I thought, oh, what better day to what better week to use it than the fourth of July week? So Matilda is in this one. Matilda drives the stitchy bus. Okay. Um that was a new star, and the year of celebrations in July was a new star also. Okay, um, I'm also doing some secret stitching on an ornament exchange for Christmas in July with a group I belong to. And I can't show you that because I'll take a video when it's time before I mail it off, and then I'll, I'll show you then, but sorry. Okay, and I did not remember to bring Let Joy in from Friend Stitch with Bent Creek and Heart and Hand. Go figure. You know, when you're camping, you always forget something. And at least it wasn't something important this time. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right. So anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me. The next thing I want to show you is, um, I have two free patterns because one may be a little tricky to get to and you might not be able to see it good, but it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. 
so I wanted to show it to you. Okay, this one is from, um, she's, she's from Australia, Queensland, Australia. Um, and her name is Michelle, I want to say Re or Ray, R-E-A. And she stitched a strawberry as a smalls exchange at her first retreat. And everybody said, um, we want you to share this chart. So this is the chart that she has posted on her Facebook page. And I will link that below. But this is it. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, goodness. Well, that was real smart. Okay. This is it. Isn't that a beautiful strawberry? So I will link that below and it says exchange strawberry inspired by Michelle Ray. So be sure and go see that one. Then, <clears throat> oops, wrong way. The next one is called, since it's Christmas in July, it's Yo Ho Ho, Yo Ho Ho Ho, excuse me, Yo Ho 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 Santa. This is the free pattern of the month from Everything Cross Stitch, and it's by Sue Hillis, and I will link this below. Isn't that cute? That'd be cute for a little boy, you know. So, anyway, boy, this light is doing strange things. Hmm. Okay, but Sue Hillis, Yo Ho Ho. Okay. All right, so two free patterns, and I'll link those below. Now, the next thing before we do the giveaway winners, because we did reach, um, well, we've reached 1,395 subscribers. I'm like, holy cow. I'm so excited. It's just wonderful. So thank you, thank you. And if you're not subscribed, just go right ahead. It's not like I'm just going to go call you every day, you know, like the spam callers. That won't happen. But anyway, and like the video if you don't mind, and be sure and comment. Okay, the next thing we're going to show is I always feature an Etsy designer or an Etsy shop where you can buy some, like, accessories or it's in a designer that, you know, you wouldn't ordinarily know about. And this one, I just kind of stumbled upon her by accident. And her name is, well, the name is A New Creation by Allison. She has some beautiful, beautiful patterns. She doesn't have a lot, but she has some beautiful patterns. This one is called Joy to the World Nativity Ornament. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. The next one is Silent Night Cross Stitch Ornament. Then we have Summer Square. Isn't that beautiful? I love those blues. All right, and then He is Risen. Okay, then we have, I showed this one even though spring's already passed, but this is Spring Band Sampler for those that like the sheep and pink. But you can make your house any color. But isn't that beautiful? It's so colorful. And then we have Welcome Summer, the Summer Band Sampler. And you wouldn't necessarily have to stitch the whole thing. You could just stitch the top. Or you might just want to do the quilt at the bottom. Or maybe the sunflowers for like a little bookmark or, or a pin keep or something. Then we have Love Has Come Nativity Cross Stitch Pattern. And... Oh, Holy Night. So, I'm not going to show any more. I want you to go check her out, and I will link her Etsy shop below. And another thing I noticed today, uh, Dying to Stitch is having a fall retreat September 26th through the 28th. Um, and they're going to give more details soon, but... Alma Allen from Blackbird Designs is going to be their guest teacher for the fall retreat there. So if you've not seen Alma from Blackbird Designs, you need to go because you, it's a real treat, let me tell you. And this is uh, their posting on Instagram. All right. 
so let's see i've done that i've done that okay i'm going to do the giveaway winners and then i'm going to show some of my um happy mail because all i have this week is happy mail okay the first thing we um i had a question you needed to answer what were you going to do the fourth of july and a lot of people they don't do a lot and then other people they have barbecues you know and things like that well we had at the campground, I'll tell you this first, Sam will make you wait. We had bingo, we had trivia, we had a big, big barbecue. Um, it was very, very good. We had a duck race, we had a ladder ball tournament, which I did not win. We had a cornhole tournament, we had um. A poker run and let's see fireworks oh, I forgot the fireworks and campfires it was great great fun it really was uh, it was almost too much fun <laughs> but anyway my poor little dogs were a little nervous about the fireworks so I kind of stayed with them and we just listened well we didn't really have to listen it just made a lot of noise so anyway but it was a lot of fun and i hope your uh fourth of july was fun also and if you're not from the united states i hope you had a nice day um and a good week okay moving right along okay the random comment picker the youtube random comment picker now is um charging so i'm not going to do that so i did something else and it's very fair so it was like a pick a number so um uh, anyway the first winner is christine m because i gave away the um wonderland hand dyed fabric mock turtle it was 16 count ada and the floss the hand dyed floss to go with it and this is going to christine m 8383 congratulations christine Oh, and I forgot to say, I always forget this. Make sure that my email will be below. Please do not call me on Instagram because sometimes I don't get it. Uh, but anyway, comment on my email. Oh, yeah. Send me an email. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and make sure you send your name along with your, flock, with your um, YouTube name and or Instagram name and uh, your address so I can mail this to you okay so I need your name your Instagram YouTube name and your address and be sure and label it like prize winner so you know like in the heading so I'll know and tell me what you won just in case if you don't mind so Christine congratulations all right next <clears throat> we had um, Oh, yeah, the beach dance, and this was donated by a viewer, and there's the little birds, okay, and this, well, I guess they're birds, this is Celia Whitmore, 6300, congratulations, Celia, just make sure that you email me all the information I need, all right, and the next thing is Liberty, this is an entire kit, from Pine Mountain Designs. See, it's got everything you need. And this one is Delnora Janiac, 3751. Congratulations, Delnora. And don't email me your address because I have it. <laughs> okay, I met her at Stitch Con and also Quilter Station too. And we exchanged addresses because we just hit it off. Okay, and next... This one is Praiseworthy Stitches, Sandcastle Bay, and the winner is Arlene Curry. Arlene, congratulations. Congratulations, Arlene. And be sure and send all your information to me so I can get this in the mail to you. All right, and the next one is the Quaker. This is by the Nebby Needle, and she's was so kind to gift this to me quirky quaker sampler and the winner is v-i-r-p-i-r -I -I two four five three v-i-r-p-i-r -I -I two four five three 
be sure and email me. Okay, the next one, <coughs> okay, is from Falling Star Primitives, and it's Lucy Blackwell, My America. And the winner of this one is Sharon Williams, 6787. Sharon Williams, 6787. Be sure and email me, Sharon. Congratulations. And the last one is the Llama Lump, the stack by Plum uh, Samplers, Plum Street Samplers. And this is D-E-V-I-S-I-S-K. Congratulations, D-E-V-I-S-I-S-K. So be sure and email me your address, your real name, and tell me that you what you've won. Okay, and I'll get these in the mail hopefully this week. Thank you so, so much, and I really enjoyed reading all the comments. I really did. They were just great. Um, <clears throat> I always like to hear what you guys are doing. It helps me get to know y'all a little bit better. So, um, now, let's talk about what I got this week, and then I will let you go because I don't know what my plans are. They're spontaneous this week. Okay, the first thing is I had ordered some linen from Tabby Cat because I had a discount coupon, um, and I can't remember how much off it was with for Mill on the Floss. But I ordered, it's Weigart linen, and it's called Pamplemousse, and it's 40 count, and it's a fat quarter. Look at that, and it's got Tabby Cat. And this is my piece of linen. Isn't that just gorgeous? Okay, now let's try to get it to where it's kind of the right color. Hmm. It's kind of golden, but it's not looking golden. Oh, well. But it's very pretty. It's kind of a golden tan. But I got that, plus I got a 10% discount voucher for another order and a cute little thank you. And uh, this came all the way from France. Looky there. Okay. Then I won a giveaway on uh, Java Girl Stitch's last video. <sighs> I was very sad that Java Girl's not doing videos. I don't know if it's for a while or forever. She hasn't decided. But I won Carrot Patch. It's a um, floss holder. Isn't that cute? Mm, always use those. And also this cute little needle minder. It's from um, mm, Soulful Creations. Isn't that cute? Thank you, thank you, Christy. I really appreciate it. And I'm really going to miss watching you on your floss tubes. But I hope you enjoy time with your family. All right, so that was my happy mail, and I also would like to apologize to Niecy Lynn. I have tried for the last four videos to share your thank you note, and I have either left it somewhere that I couldn't find until after the video was over, or this time left it at home, just like I did last week. So, um, it's the prettiest handmade card. And she was thanking me for the Noah's Ark patterns I sent her. And uh, it's just a beautiful card. So thank you, Niecy Lynn. And if you hadn't watched her, you need to watch Niecy Lynn. She does some beautiful, beautiful work. She also has some pretty drums that you need to see, the patriotic ones. They are just beautiful. So, and she's a happy girl and a laugh a minute, I'm telling you. All right. So that's it for today, and I just thank you so much for watching my video, and I'm sorry that my little doggies just don't want to be movie stars tonight, or video stars. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if they'll come in. Hang on. Oh, look. A treat will do it every time. Here you go, Striker. Yeah, everybody always wanted to watch my dog eat a treat, and you can't have two. Let's see if we can get the other one up here. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. You notice you can see his eyes a little bit better this week. Striker barked when I was trimming his eyebrows. I cut them off. I cut one off. So I had to cut the other one off to match. <laughs> so anyway, good boy, Winston. Yes, look at his big teeth. Yes.
But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will include some pictures from the 4th of July celebration and some of the scenery that we've had um, on the way up and uh, while we're here. And everybody have a wonderful week and stitch all the things. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.